Hey everybody, welcome to Beyond the Black Shirt. I'm Grant McLean. Today I have my 6R MCX pistol that I'm going to show you the things that I did to it and um, you know, maybe if it's something that you kind of want to build out, get some ideas there. So this is obviously going to be, you know, beyond what you normally see in the studio with me doing concealed carry guns. So this is going to be something uh, you know, more or less uh, what I do outside of the studio and outside of concealed carry guns. So what I have over here for you to check out today is, this is a six hour MCX Virtus. It has the 11.5 inch barrel. I'll kind of, you know, break this stuff down to you in the gun room as well and give you like a parts list. So that way, if you wanted to build out something like this, you could, but yeah, I really like the 11 half inch barrel. It's small, it's compact. This has the SIG knuckle on the end there. So you can break that down, make it even more compact for storage, whatever it might be. Um, did some extra stuff to there. I'll kind of give you a quick rundown. So up front we have the ASR, BE Myers ASR flash hider, and also quick detach mount for their suppressors and a uh, blast shield. Then I also have, you know, everything right here as far as rail goes is, is factory, except for this is the uh, Sig Sauer hand stop kit that's M lock. And then I have the Parker Mountain Machine. It's kind of like their version of a bad lever. And so I really like this. Really just makes it that much more functional for me. And then I have the Radian Arms oversized charging handle there. This is a loophole hammer. These are kind of hard to get because they're no longer in production. This is a four magnification. I like this very, very much. On the back here, we have the SIG knuckle, folding knuckle for a 1913 rail. And then the buffer tube, this is actually a kind shot buffer tube, which is kind of cool. So if you take a look here, I'll move this back. But this is actually a shock. So you can see that moves in to help absorb recoil. I've got an SBA3 and then have the split fix on there. So I got a few rounds loaded up. Uh, I got the Lancer hybrid mags, like these a lot. You can see right through them. I like that smoke look, but also I like the uh, steel feed lips there. So let's go ahead and get some rounds down range. Let's go ahead, get some, uh, get some warm up rounds down range uh, on this baby here. So. We'll start off uh, some of these upper close close up targets and then we'll work our way back and uh, just kind of go left to right there. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, baby. God, what a smooth shooting gun. Just tack driver. Yeah. All right, we are out. Yeah, I really like that. Ooh, so smooth. I'm, I'm gonna show you here a couple options that you have when you have the ASR mount on the front. And uh, if you've seen like my AK or my uh, Galil video, you'll you'll see, you know, kind of what I got going on on those. Same similar concept with this as far as that goes. But, you know, obviously 5.56 five, versus 7.62. So let's go ahead and put a suppressor on this bad boy couple different options being that we're outdoors I'm not too concerned about my neighbors you know in that blast you're gonna feel this is gonna it's not a break on this so it doesn't have that concussion that you normally get you know from the with the flash hider there but nonetheless if you're indoors you might want to have something that's gonna push the gases forward and and you know kind of respect your neighbors a little bit more I have the ASR blast shield from silencer co and that's typically how i run this when i'm indoors shooting this at the range and then of course we have the asr mount on this omega 300 so this is the same one that i shoot with uh my 762 by 39 or my galil and my ak so let's go ahead and i'll run this so you can see what it's going to be like without the blast shield and then with the blast shield you're not going to notice honestly too much a difference because it's a flash hider, not a break. So it doesn't have that, you know, giant fireball. And that's what I feel typically uh, people are trying to get away from. 
So what do we got here? We got six. So we'll do three and three. We'll do three without, three with. And uh, actually from there, why don't I go ahead and do this? I'll take another five and we'll run that with the suppressor, or I'm sorry, the uh, blast shield. Pop that baby off. And then we'll put the Omega 300 on. And so you can see how that's gonna run. It is, I mean, as is, you guys, this gun is so freaking smooth. But then once you put that suppressor on, especially that it does have the brake, <laughs> it's, it's change your religion smooth. It's almost too good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do three, three without, three with. And then uh, I'll come back here and grab the suppressor. So this is gonna be three without, let's go for it. Uh, we'll go uh, right to left on this one here. Oh, that's our three. All right, let's go ahead and pop on that ASR, the blast shield. So here we are. Go a little finger tight, lock that on. All right. So I feel a little bit more recoil with it. You know, obviously it's pushing the gases forward. It's gonna come back. Uh, the kind shot buffer tube system does work pretty well. Like I said, unless I was trying to make sure that my neighbors ha didn't hate me, then I wouldn't be too concerned as far as that goes, uh, being outdoors. So one of those things, like if you're gonna be shooting indoors, maybe a good idea to do a blast shield. If you're gonna be shooting outdoors like this, ah, who cares? You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead and pop that off. So I got safety on, unlock that. And uh, let's go back to the table and grab that suppressor. Get an idea what that's gonna be like. Still a little warm from us shooting earlier, so. All right, here we go. Safety off. All right, so same rounds. It's, uh, I think these are, we'll have to check and see what the grain weight is on this, but let's go ahead, start. Uh, we'll go left to right. Oh yeah. Super smooth. Oh, we're out. That was fast. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's load it up. This is this is too much fun. God, look at that, huh? This is a beauty. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm telling you, the uh, the craftsmanship on this is amazing. Six Hour did a fantastic job. All right, let's get some more rounds down range with this uh, suppressor on there. It's kind of sprinkling on us now, so, all right. Let's go. We'll go for some of these longer, uh, some of those that are about 75 yards out or so. We'll get... Oh yeah, a little close up. Man, all right, we're out. That is super duper nice. Super, super smooth. What I have found is also with this gun, it, there there is an adjustable gas key on this, but it doesn't really matter, you know? I've adjusted it, the shells still fly out at about two or three o'clock. And I know a lot of people go, ah, man, it's over gassed. Well, you know, the fact of the matter is, is it runs and it's running great. So, I don't know. So I can run it suppressed, unsuppressed, doesn't matter. I haven't, I don't have to like really fart around with the key, uh, the gas key or anything like that. So, you know, to me, it doesn't really matter, but I really like this gun and uh, I've taken this out. You know, I don't have my bench here or anything, but uh, I've taken this out 200 yards, no problem hitting silhouettes or anything like that. So, you know, if you're looking for a, a good gun, I did a lot of research on what it was that I was trying to accomplish and like the future parts and stuff like that and kind of what I needed. And this is what I ended up going with. MCX, Virtus, 11 and a half inch pistol. Very, very happy with it. And uh, 
I think I think anybody who owns one of these definitely gives it thumbs up. So, anyway, one of those things to look into if you're looking for a, a good good gun like.